What's up guys? This is the Brother Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off up on last time, uh, the Ottomans have unleashed a blistering assault on us and haven't been able, haven't left us alone. Um, and it's caused us some real problems because it means that, uh, well, we really need to pull out the stops. I want to really hit them hard. I want to build up my navies, I want to retake Istanbul, I want to expand into this territory, I want to go down and take Cairo and push up through the south. I pretty much want to pull out a massive campaign against the Ottomans. Um, however, there is a need to uh, rebalance our forces. Not rebalance, but regroup and reposition and rebuild our forces. Yeah, you're being repaired. Yeah, right now we are getting we're getting three and a half thousand a turn, which isn't bad, but it could be better. And let's find see if we've got a guy who's better, who's a better head of government. Plus one happiness, plus one management ability, plus one, okay. This guy's pretty good because he's four stars. His negatives balance out overall that he's positive, but he is fifty-four. 64, sorry. Whereas this guy is morally impaired. So you want this guy to increase the rate of town, well, of town wealth. Bologna is researching our economy, or researching economic advances. So let's hit end turn and let's see what happens. Yes, I very much do want to make... Oh no, don't do it, friends. Good. Wow. I was about to say, why is Spain attacking, declaring war on us? And go, oh, it's because of all the things we did. They've not been joined by France, which is good. That's not good, but we've got an army on the mainland who will be able to deal with such incursions. Um, it's just a frustrating side effect. Peace with Poland? Yes. There's no sense with us remaining at war with Poland. Ah, Ottoman end turn shenanigans. Oh, so they have decided to assault us, and because we're on the defensive, I will more than happily take that. Because I really do need to take Istanbul back. I would like to make gains in the rest of the Balkans, but I need to take Istanbul. I need to make gains. I need to make progress because I think I'm getting bogged down too much. I'm not able to make the big sweeping advances I had earlier in the campaign. So let's group these guys together, put them behind barricades. up the rest of the troops, keep my pikes behind my guns, split my cavalry up, on each flank, general at the head, ah, regiment of grenadiers left behind, probably, have to, probably will want to put you over here. Probably want to put the balance of my, the, the bulk of my cavalry on the right. Because we have lots of these Libyan Kolugu, which look like light cavalry to me. We don't really have. We've got some. Some European style infantry, but we're still going to be able to push them back. Some Sekban Janissary riflemen, Armenian archers, camels, and all sorts of stuff. Let's speed up time. Okay, here comes some Libyan Kogul, Kol 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 these guys. 
Let's see if they can skirmish or if they're going to charge. Shock. So let's counter charge. The grenadiers fall back to the square. To be honest, same with my cavalry. Don't worry about winning any one particular fight. These guys have dismounted. have the Libyans on this flank so these guys get out of get out of your formations I haven't even deployed one of these full artillery that's a waste no cavalry stay out of the way these grenadiers are of, are unhappy and they have a right to be unhappy Goes to stay in square formation for now. Push my men out on the flank. Do not want to charge my cavalry into that mess. Fusiliers are going to be very unhappy about that. Those damn camels. Those camels melt cavalry. No fusiliers are enough to hold them off. It's too bad these guys have charged my fusiliers, which are, of, which are by far my weakest unit when it comes to melee attacks. But at least it's Muslim rather than serious units. that direction go around the squ go around the spikes hey my grenadiers came back Apache bazooks don't worry my pikes have shown up hit the azars don't just tickle them and you guys Go around and hit the Libyans. No, don't run forwards. The Janissary Rofeman ran into melee combat, which was very smart. Big brain time. Charge the horsemen with my regiment of horse. Pikemen charge into the archers. This cavalry's finally nailed down this altar unit. Kill them. Let's bring my general over. Let's get involved. Regiment of horse. I suppose they're getting. I was going to say, they're getting shot at by the archers because they're doing pretty well.
charge the Muslim. You run down the Bashi Bazooks. The pikemen should have a great time against these archers. Should. Run into the sick Janissaries. Where's my general? Let's get him. Chase down the riflemen. from the Janissaries and then charge back in. Go on General, take him out. You've done really well against the archers, now run in to support your your other cavalry against those skirmish cavalry. Okay, you just get back. Good. The spikes are over here, so I'm not at risk. So try and hit the Libyan, these Libyan Kalugu, because they are so close to the front line, and you might have a good shot at actually destroying their unit. Take him out. You guys get chased down Janissary Riflemen, you guys are chasing down Janissaries, you guys are chasing down Archers. Pull all these men back. Come and take out the Kurdish hillmen, I suppose. Not so bothered about the Muslim. The hillmen's not a massive concern either, but got to do what you got to do. If you can take out those Armenian archers, that would be excellent. But it looks like they've spread out quite nicely, so they're going to be fine. Well, not fine, exactly. It wasn't close. It was quite a good win. Might be messy, but... Damn, that force is gutted. And what's left has been... Severely neutered. But what I would like, I would like to try to land more troops elsewhere in Cairo, or I need to get a get a rush on researching quicklime. That's another objective of mine. Because that would help immensely in breaking the deadlock. Would mean, have to would mean I would have to distribute howitzers quite widely, fairly quickly, which might be a problem in terms of my infrastructure, but it's not a deal breaker. Especially as I've already, already got a fairly advanced uh, research base as it is. Yeah, I think that might have to be a strategic target rushing down the rushing down that tech tree because I need to start killing Ottomans very quickly and very efficiently as well because my strategy right now isn't working especially when I lose cities like Naples that are super valuable to me
Okay, so tactics, strategy, plan. You guys are very not good Attack it for attacking them. You guys need to replenish. Go north. They're going to hit. They're going to invade somewhere quickly. Peace with Poland. We've got an arsenal in Greece. So we do have access to howitzers. So you need a lot of replenishment. So much so both these guys need to go east. Let's send some our cavalry to scout. What awaits us. So these that's the damaged forces that I've knocked out before. I do have a garrison. I don't know how good these guys are. Okay, so let's march up. Heavy cavalry and an artillery unit to go back up. Ernesto Defendi. To provide a bit more firepower. You need to stay where you are. I can't knock out this Spanish stack. I mean, you would do a lot of damage, actually. But I don't want to weaken my garrisons. And I'm too much, I'm probably going to want to spend a bit of money reinforcing you guys. I think that's my main objective. Is wherever these guys hold up, I'm going to lay siege with Alfio Epolito. Let's check my research. So, I have a gunnery school. Or do I need to build a gunnery school? I need to build an ordnance board to research quicklime. That's what I need to do. And you also need to rebuild the governor's palace. Okay, let's head in turn and see how badly things are going to go. Yep, so they can take Genoa. It's unfortunate they've pushed the navy out, which is at risk. They demand an alliance. I mean... Who are, you, who are you enemies with people? Who are you at war with? I don't want need to be at war with. Georgia. No, your enemies are with the Mughal Empire. I don't want to wind them up. Ooh, so we are being attacked by another force. Let's do it. The more we can damage their forces on the field the better time we will have with pretty much everything we'll end up not having well it will make the, the recapture of Istanbul easier not easy but easier okay let's form a central line let's take That's not a brilliant position. I think I'd rather move back. There we go, move back, hunker down. Maybe the one right at the edge might have a cavalry defence instead of having barricades. Then the weak units, or weaker units like this guy. Nope. There we go. Deploy something to prevent a direct artillery charge. Fusiliers can just dump a line of stakes. Let's get these cavalry. Get this cavalry back, get these pikes. Let's drop some more defences. Okay. Same with you. Deploy additional stakes, but get back.
probably get my grenadiers up on this flank. But mainly, we want them to come at us. speed up time because the AI is trying to decide what the hell it wants to do. So we've got infantry marching up the road towards us which is quite fluffy, I quite like that. Armenian archers, Armenian archers, Royal Janissary Infantry Guards which we've seen before. Royal Janissary Infantry Guards, another unit, another unit of archers. It's Janissary Rifleman unit. You know. Keep pounding the camera gunners. That's a really bad position. <laughs> there we go. Keep firing at an angle instead. Try to lob your shots a bit longer range. Actually, these guys, when you switch to canister shot, to help deal with maybe the riflemen, but mostly the archers. Because we all know what archers are like. I don't, I don't care if we don't kill many of them before they rout. I just want them out of here. Before the conventional infantry block arrives. Or more conventional. There's still a whole bunch of archers in there. Nizam said it infantry being pushed back is lovely to see. They will probably come back based on their strength. But I will take a route. Shots into these archers. Before they get too much of a chance to set up and do too much damage. Well, they're just in range, even a fire. Technically, you should be engaging. See, they do cut down men really quickly for what they are, for just being, you know, archers. Come on, push them back. You get back to playing the camel gunners. So this is a concern. So much so I'm probably going to want to give up this position on the hill. I 
Maybe even give them the town. I probably want to fall back quite a big amount. In order to maintain good firing positions. Puts us at risk of a immediate cavalry charge like that. No, no. This unit of grenadiers can hold the line. We've got cavalry defences to cover our retreat. General's bodyguard fancies his chances. You both run. This line infantry form square just to scare off this infantry unit. I'm completely okay with losing those units. Grand scheme, they don't really mean that much. Kill the general though, which is nice. Grenadier Regiment is going to fight for as long as they got. You'd think my Grenadiers would actually do okay against archers. Well, these guys are. They're winning decisively. Fire it all off. See what we can do on this flank. Yeah, my main concern isn't about well, it's mainly just about holding holding a flank. If I have to sacrifice some men to make that happen, then I will. Regiment of horse like this grenadier. Well, actually, these grenadiers are actually. I mean, these guys aren't going to win against the archers just out of attrition, but. Damn, I'll give it a good go. Guards have charged us. So let's get my cavalry to start some kind of breakout. See, jump, dumping cavalry straight into square formation might not be the best option in response to cavalry, rather than being, you know, conscientious about where your army is. But oh damn, it doesn't work. Both of you guys in on that. Oh, 
Okay, this, I should be ready to pull you fella back. I mean, Jazz regards a guard, a guard infantry unit, so I'm not expecting to win against them. But I'm expecting to hold the line. And I'm also expecting the fact that there's just not that many of them. But I should be able to do some good. My regiment of horse should beat these Libyan units. Hit that Armenian archer unit. Pivot these men around on the flank to fire into the body of men. Set these guys to actually fire at will. To tear down these Sekban Janissaries. I mean, archers are very upset at being charged into like that. A lot of camels died to those stakes. It's pretty good. Let's hold fire at will. Let's deploy. general right, let's just deploy our cavalry in general I believe that's probably it oh no there is a unit of cavalry right at the back that's useful into the Janissary Riflemen. These are my spikes, so they don't hurt. Figure out what the hell we're going to do about these guys right at the back. Well, let's just deploy up and get him. You might be the better option because I know the AI can get a bit dumb trying to climb cavalry over these defences. So let's march my cavalry up, my artillery up. Stop firing at them. I mean, I guess it looks like they want to route, but because they're not withdrawing, they can't. Yes, you're all very tired. But you need to get into position, lads. Ah. Oh. Great. Guns are stuck behind the spikes, so infantry only it is. Pretty much the plan is to walk towards them um, until they do something. And what our plan is going to be is to just deploy everyone into square, like the entire line. 
but I'm hoping if I just take some pot shots at them, because it looks like they want to leave the battlefield. Except for when they don't. You guys stop firing at will. Same with you. Same with you. Let this square battle naturally dissolve. <laughs> Man, we are getting worn down on this front. But we gutted them. But our force is also very weak. But that looks like... Nope, withdraw. <laughs> Pity you've gone that way. I don't want to fight it, but I can't auto-resolve. <sighs> I really don't want to fight that. <laughs> I probably should have done, but god, I'm on the tail of two big fights. I really didn't want to. But it looks like... The Ottomans are finally pushing through the north of Italy, which is kind of lame. But it's what we got to do. So I think my Turin garrison is going to lay siege to the Lost Territory, and this army that's near Venice may end up going north and attempt to block or hold off or fight those troops to the south. But yeah, the next... I need to build... Quick climb howitzers. That's what I need to build. And my borders may shrink in order to do it. They may contract. Which is unfortunate, because cash is... It's not terrible, but it's not great. I'd rather have... Rather have more money. Um, but yeah, I need... Oh, all that time spent expanding the war chest, it's... Well, maybe it is paying off, because if we didn't expand the war chest the way we did, things would be a lot worse. But I think I might need to spend a turn building a grand arsenal to get Quicklime to help hold off all of these Ottoman troops. Or try and get someone else involved in the war. Or try and make peace with someone like Spain. Even though they have taken my territory. It is annoying to lose most of that army in the to the east. But god damn, that would have been three massive battles against the Ottomans. One after another, all in one turn. So I've not had any time to uh, recover my troops. Which is very unfortunate. But in the grand scheme, I think we'll probably be okay. Thankfully the Mughals... Uh, they seem to be more bothered about the Americas rather than us. Do you know who wants peace? Yes. Yes, Genoa. Let's... You know what, Genoa? We can even trade if you want. Yeah, the army's been destroyed here. This army is enough to siege them. We're not going to attack them, we're just going to siege them. You probably need to go up here. Got 3,000. That's not enough to build the ordnance board to get quick climb, but we definitely need it. So let's get our light galley over here to pick up the remnants of this force. March them up. Okay, you guys have got... Okay, how much will it cost to replenish all you guys? One and a half thousand. Probably worth doing though. Considering the threats that are against us. Ernesto Defendi, you need to keep expanding. OK, 
Okay, I need to make this a, a I need to make this a really big priority to get quick climb. Even then, it's a nine turn investment, so it's a long way off. And we're only on fifteen hundred because we're getting. Oh, it's because oh, it's because the Spain. Okay, it's because we've lost our port here. Okay, let's pull you back to Syracuse. Put our ships under repair. But I do not like where this is going. Hell, I'd even take peace. Good. They hate us, but we've got peace. But what are we going to do with it? To be honest, we're at war with so much of the damn map at the moment. It might even become a question of garrisoning Athens. God, we could be, but we've really got to just make... Make inroads. So we're at war with Spain, Britain, Russia, the Ottomans. The Ottomans are at war with Poland. Good. We lost Liguria temporarily. It's a very valuable region. The Italians, the Spanish have raided. There's always a chance they might still just come at us. Okay. I can't knock the policies down. Otherwise, I'd be making no money. Pity. Russia, peace. No. Oh, too bad. I left my ship out. Too bad. It's only a light galley. <laughs> and they are sallying. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the sally of the Spanish dogs in Genoa. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>